What's going on guys, Brad Scott with bradscottvisuals.com. Today I want to show you how to put together your time lapse that you shot with a DSLR camera. Uh, so individual frame uh, photo time lapse inside of Adobe Premiere. Okay, This is CS6 that I'm using. So I'm just going to open up a composition that's uh, 1080p, 24 frames a second. I'm just going to name it time lapse. Click OK. And I've already gone through, um, basically just opened up. I select all of my frames. I shoot in RAW. So I opened up all my frames and then right clicked them, opened them up in camera RAW, selected all of them and changed them. And so now it's saved how I want it. So now all I have to do is go to file and go to import and just select my folder that they're in. So it's in sunset one. And you want to click the first one, click image sequence, and then hold on shift and just drag them all the way down to the bottom and then click open so then you've got your JPEG sequence right here you can just drag it onto your timeline and just click uh, keep existing settings because you want it to be 1080 by 24 frames a second and then the still image is, is larger than the actual um, 1080p, so what we need to do is just click on it, go to, it's, I think it's froze in a sec, one, so we just need to click it, and click on motion, go to scale, and just scale it down to where you want it, so I'm going to have it go right around there and then I'm just gonna stretch it out a little bit too let's go right there and stretch it out to where it's there we go perfect so now as you can see it's gonna play the time lapse it's a little slow right now because we're recording, but I'll show you the final product. All you have to do is just go to File, click on Export, go to Media, and then the settings I like to use are H.264. And then go down to 1080, 23.976 frames per second. And then what we want to do is if you want to make it really high quality, just click high, 5.2, render at maximum depth. And then whenever you do that, it changes the frame rate for some reason. So just put that back up to 23.976. Uh, click Use Maximum Render Quality. And then just save it in the folder you want it to be under. I'm just going to save it as... Kihei Sunset. Click Save. And then Export. And it's going to export it out for you and save it to that folder. Hope you liked that video guys. Please remember to comment with any questions, subscribe to my channel, and just let me know what other kind of tutorials you guys would like to see. Um, just leave a comment in the comment box below. And check out more of my work, uh, photography work at islandbeachart.com. And then uh, check out some of my time lapse stuff here on YouTube and on my site, bradscottvisuals.com. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.